If you have concerns about our airport being a main point of entry for COVID-19, one thing that might reassure you is the number of passengers. At this particular moment, you simply can't find one in the airport. Stay six feet or two meters from the nearest person. Greet your arriving guest with a wave instead of a handshake or a hug. When I left Puerto Vallarta, I was asked questions of whether I had a cough, because I flew Puerto Vallarta to San Francisco. And then when I flew this morning from San Francisco, I wasn't asked anything. But when I got onto the plane from Seattle to fly to Canada, I was asked. I was asked if I had a cough. I was asked if I, um, if I had to be hospitalized for the last 14 days. And, and I was asked if I was turned down uh, entry onto an airplane. But no um, screening was done of you, like a heat screen or anything? No. If, if I would have said I had a cough and, and I actually am wearing this not for my own protection but because I'm sick, then they would have done further screening. Well, right now um, at the Cologne International Airport, uh, the only international flights that are arriving here is one flight a day from Seattle. And when that flight arrives, the Canada Board of Service agents, agents are um, uh, following the direction from the P Public Health Authority of Canada. And that is to ensure that um, there's a screening test with regards to um, their health. So they're asked um, uh, multiple questions, um, as well as uh, they've asked where they've been, where they've traveled to. Um, they're also handing out um, uh, pamphlets with regards to the requirement to self-isolate for 14 days. And then, of course, um, they're asking them where they are, what their reason to be uh, in Kelowna is. So it's only essential travel right now for business. So if people are arriving um, for uh, pleasure travel or for tourism, um, they will be turned away and they will be sent back to the United States. What have you done to do your part for this social distancing effort? Well, the building itself uh, is designed to process about 5,000 passengers a day or about 600 passengers an hour at the peak. Right now we're processing less than 1,000 passengers a day and less than, less than 100 passengers at the peak. So that naturally um, uh, lends itself to for social distancing from passengers. But we've gone beyond that. Um, we've uh, ensured that uh, people are aware of the social distancing requirements. So we have um, PA announcements on a regular basis reminding them. Uh, we have uh, signage up all over the facilities. Uh, we've got uh, visual messaging on all of our digital forms. So we have lines at pre-board screening uh, demonstrating where the six uh, foot two meter mark is. And then we've done other things like our common use kiosks. We've turned off m the majority of them. So you're not standing side by side to somebody when you're checking in. We have a, a, an enhanced cleaning program in place right now. We've had it in place for almost two months. So we have a constant extra cleaning, uh, sanita sanitized cleaning um, from uh, six o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night all of the public surfaces, so all the railings, the baggage carts, uh, we're in the offices, uh, cleaning door handles, anywhere that the public might touch, that is being sanitized on a regular basis, on a daily basis. And we'll continue to do that uh, until this passes.